Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run.
Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. The inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Welcome to the Baj Al Ghazali. I'll get issued no, one tomorrow why? morning. It you know how it works? Because I don't. It's easy. They Two of us are stationed up here and below by the card reader. Man, we get an alert, we right. both swipe our cards. Well, <laughs> 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 
47. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. Yeah, just like fire drill. Need to act fast before those bastards evacuate. Head for the helipad. They've left the helipad. Their last chance is by parachute. Make sure that doesn't happen. Got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over.
That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen.
private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Stop pacing, for God's sake, Emma. But why don't we get any kind of explanation? It's bloody rude, that's what it is. Come here to play with you all and then show up like that. Ancestral graveyard, trophy room, and the office safe is hidden behind a portrait <laughs> with a secret mechanism for uncovering it. It's got real soul. Yep. Yeah, it's impressive, all right. A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle.
If you only knew what we face. I wonder what you would do. Attack? Regroup? Close the gates and wait it out? Legacy, what bollocks. It's all gone, I fear. That bloody Arthur Edwards, how did I not see it? <laughs> I doubt our big brother could have botched it up any worse than I have, even if he'd tried. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit!
Walk away. <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. been compromised. Abort and walk away now. Who? ICA. They tracked me. Don't know how. It's what they do. How many? One prime asset and a whole pack of up-and-comers. They've infiltrated the club searching for us. Christ, I think I killed one of them. Get out now before they spot you. No. They found us once. They'll find us again. <sighs> Keep your head down. I'll take care of this. I haven't seen so much as an owl out here yet. Just a Agent lot of trees. No, I wasn't trying to sound overconfident. This is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Just keep trying, Agent Montgomery. Our client considers Agent 47 and Olivia Hall as a serious threat. You can't underestimate them. I never do, Zhao. We'll find them. We're all in position. Good. Report back to me if there's anything. Don't worry.
Hey, Tim's calling in. Only got visual on stoned idiots. No sign of target. Just remember your breathing and stay on task. Agent Tim. down. Are you all sleeping out there? We could not have stacked the deck more in our favor and still... Oh. Yeah, but Paul looks pretty new. I mean, if the power was on out here, you could probably get all this stuff to work. I mean, it looks intact. Well, lucky for us, there's no power. Imagine all those stone people inside playing with this shit. <laughs> that would be anarchy. That's <laughs> Just waiting to make a little transaction of my own. Then I'll drop it off. Yeah, I know. It's on the receipt, right? Ring the doorbell at the drop off. Would have killed the guy to be the outside. Oh, what the hell do I care? <laughs> Listen, I don't want to be on a phone with Agent Rhodes checking in. Agent Rhodes. Command, nothing suspicious. Everything clear. Are you there, Agent Rose? Report. And that makes three. The math was on our side. This shouldn't be happening. always one step ahead. It doesn't make sense. Unless... Unless this channel isn't secure. Don't take any chances. Freeze him out. Agent Tremaine reporting in. All quiet on the Western Front. He's here. He has to be. Don't get comfortable. Agent Tremaine. Tremaine, are you still there? Our fourth man down. My god, this is an embarrassment. How do you expect to look each other in the eyes after this?
Yeah, Lowenthal here. No sign of 47 yet. Stay alert. We don't need to give him an opportunity to strike. They got my message. Where are you? Diner. Up the main road. On my way. You're hurt. You should see the other guy. Never killed nobody before. What you did back there. You really are all Gray said you'd be. 47. He didn't suffer, did he? He made it count. And yet, here we are. Status quo. It just goes to show, you can't fight power, Miss Burnwood. Power never dies. It only changes hands. The best you can do is claim it. I never cared about power. Power is a tool, Miss Burnwood. It's the thing that gets you to the thing. As the next constant, you can be the agent of change. Transform the system from the inside, or be transformed by it. No risk, no reward. I'll need to think about it. No, you won't. The real question is, what will you bring to the table? Sir. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him. Way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? 
Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. I see, eh? I used every encryption known to men. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. <sighs> you and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public... You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kedanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables, human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce. The proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core. And I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. Should be around here somewhere. Are you sure you're reading it right? Just look for the damn drone. I'll read the tracker. Christ. Royce is gonna fire our asses if we don't find it. Are they very expensive? Try very illegal. The chip in there is plugged directly into Royce's project. What? Look.
That thing looks like a crashed drone. I bet it's connected to the facility. Why don't you scan it, and I'll see what I can find out. This thing is hooked up to Royce. Pings her if it's damaged. I can't use the transfer from this one, but if you take down a couple more, I might be able to piggyback the message and gain access to Royce's phone. This place is an excellent vantage point to take down some drones. I'm in. I just need to lock down the random sequence. Give me a second. I specifically said I wasn't- Damn! Nilly had it. I need you to shoot more drones, and I'll lock the link. Got a lock. We can now listen in on Royce's phone calls. Royce here. Another drone just went down. It must be Hush doing this. Again? You scared him pretty bad last time. If you don't find out who's doing this and stop it, I'm coming up there myself. Nice shot. Keep it up and maybe Royce will make an appearance. I want all roofs manned and two additional drones launched near Hush's penthouse. If they go down too, we know it's him. And then there's no more hiding. I swear he'll have to answer for this face to face. We may get more than we bargained for if you take care of those drones near Hush. There may be a potential hostile. It's clear. Moving further up now. Clear. Found the crashed drone, though. I'll grab the ship now and we can get the rest later. Not bad. I'll keep the signal up a little while longer. Hush, you fucking idiot! How dare you take down my drones! What? I did no such thing. You sent your ridiculous drones to spy on me. We have a truce, and I'm not letting your petty insecurities allow you to stake me out. Lotus Passage, now! And I don't give a shit about your condition. <sighs> for fuck's sake, Royce. I don't have time to cater for your stupidity. You don't have a choice. How do you think Main Branch would feel about you isolating yourself for weeks? Now, hush, the Lotus Passage. Well done. You've got two pissed off targets on their way to meet in the Lotus Passage. Sounds like a lethal cocktail, especially with you in the mix. This is ridiculous, Royce. I didn't touch your drones. 
You liar! You lie about everything. You're deliberately trying to mess with me. Get me off balance to screw up my presentation. No, you're the one who screwed up, Royce. We had a truce. You promised you wouldn't spy on me again. I said I didn't mess with your drones. But now, you make me wish I had. Yeah, right. Those drones are just the half of it. Your condition? Bullshit. Your sneaky secrecy? Fuck that. You've crossed a line here, and there's no going back. I want to see what you're up to in there. I've crossed a line? You're out of your mind. You're obsessed with me. Look at yourself. Is that same behavior? Both targets in one go. You are good. My turn. Just give me a second, and I'm in. You can now access the Core 47. Welcome. Please follow the gray line to security check. Thank you. Security protocol overruled. Access granted. Security protocol overruled. Tree front will be. I'm rooting for a gym. Wouldn't mind commuting in my tracksuit. They'll change the front the week after next. There's no way you're getting through that door 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. Security protocol overruled. So what's next? Ah, yes. Uh, the full body scan reveals potential for various employee failure scenarios. Security protocol overruled. Security protocol overruled.
sealing the room and dimming the windows 47. No need to worry about intruders. It's all here. Clients, operatives, every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. Okay, good. I've set up a link to an information non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Safety is Shit, I missed that. We're blown for you, I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the fence to get out. Go, now. Breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc, 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning. Core overheating. Warning. Core shut down. Temperature critical. Warning. Fire detected.
turn now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world. The so-called ICA files. The disclosure of a... You win. So... What happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered, he is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constant's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. Please don't fall. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. Been in my favorite room here now, so we've been living alone here. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. Good evening, senor. Could you give me the damnedest 
modest thing, to be sure, like a golden age detective novel. First, Tamara Vidal. I'm here for the tour, it seems. Ah, yes. Hi there. Miss Vidal. My apologies. I didn't recognize you. Let me find you. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. I was an attorney. For four decades, I served the law. Now, I serve something far grander. I serve the land, and the land of Mendoza longs to make wine. I grew up here. These majestic plains were my playground, and returning here to pick up the mantle of my ancestors seems just... Hello, handsome. Our goal... Five couple of folks come to life. It's oh, a nice job. But a bit too bristic, wouldn't you say? He's not even been appointed. Caution and modesty has been... Does that mean it's a plan A? One more I don't stand a bit too busy, young people. I mean, you do realise the risk. Of but broad daylight, work is around. Who would check the ears of this bird? It's an annual parade. But if I'm going to be one of these heralds of yours, you need to start letting me in on a few things. Okay. Those are full guys. <laughs> nah. Nah, no, no I just never framed an urban legend before. Very close to it. I like it. Tell me you stint, but they made their mark. Tell me you did the oxygen. Oxygen. Blaine falls on her rogue assassin with the whimsical M.O. That might fool the head, but not every You could even be using him to test your loyalty. Yes, that is the crunch. Perhaps we're looking at it the wrong way. Perhaps we think less about the witness and more about what you said is just the right thing. What are you thinking? The head. You can't go good They lost plenty of colleagues to burn with in her cohort. 
I am sure they would agree to back the story with Edward, if properly nudged. Say, by a cracker jack. Weird. Diana Burnworth. Long time no see. Forgive me, I can't quite place you, Mr... Reaper. Tobias Reaper. We used to work for the same company. They... went under. Ah, yes. A shame what happened. But nothing lasts forever, I suppose. Oh, but where are my manners? This is my colleague, Tamara Vidal. Miss Vidal? What brings you to Argentina, Reaper? Are you one of Don Jade's clients? Client? No. I'm more of a service provider. Right. Well, it was lovely to see you again, Tobias. Now, if you'll excuse us, Tamara and I need to mingle. Of course. See you around. I take it Edwards told you to chaperone me. Any idea why? You know why. Trust is earned. Until Edwards is satisfied you're not sailing under a false flag, I will be his eyes and ears. I meant why you? I suppose I'm more perceptive than most. You're also very loyal. My guess is Edward's decision to make me a herald is not too popular with the other heralds. We were at war about five minutes ago. Some people are funny like that. But not you. I admire the craft, the audacity. Everyone said Providence was untouchable and along you came. The way I see it, you did us a service. That's cold. I like you more already. Touché. I could use a drink. Don't let me stop you. Wow. Oh. Oh. Man, we got ourselves an accident here. Be ready. Over. May I recommend the House Cabernet Sauvignon? Fine vintage. Hmm. Strong aromatic notes, black currant and red cherries. On the palate, a trickle of sweet spice and savory plums. Yes, not bad. Senor is a connoisseur. Yeah, I doubt I don't have any scandalized, Senor. Hello. One of the most gifted surveillance. 
Unit Specialist Kevin to graduate from Cambridge. Rank one of our interrogation plans. 47. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards, you know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand's neurotoxin, transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. Are you still here? Still clinging on to your self-image. Agent 47, the apex predator. Always hiding behind the headlines. Was perfection its own justification? Or a willful distraction? A wall built contract by contract to shield you from the uncomfortable truth. You're exactly the tool they bred you to be. <laughs> Quite a piece of work you are. How could you possibly function on your own? You never even had a name. Until I gave you one. That's him. Burnwood never ceases to surprise me. You really are a most singular individual. And to think, she wanted me to put you down. Lucky for you, I never throw away anything useful. Prepare the serum. Forgetting's not so bad. You've done it before. What's he doing? Is he still looking at us? I'm afraid so. Poor Sap just won't accept his days are done. 
Perhaps I should take him out to the woods and set him free. Oh, it's a classic. <laughs> he was a loyal tool. But everything goes the way of the horse and cart eventually. I couldn't agree more. Are you done? The toxins are playing into your fears. Don't let them. Come on. Gotta get your head straight. She wants me dead. She has every right to after what we did. But that's not what is really going on. She chose power. In the end, she was just like them. No. She found a way to turn Edward's own cleverness against him. The rest is up to you. I don't know how. You do know. Diana! Coming! Once you dispose of Edward's, I will dismantle Providence from the top down. It will finally be over. All you have to do is embrace the past. wiped not wiped obviously but that's just fine tuning okay right now the serum the way
we supposed to be exactly? Ukraine? It all looks the same through the blizzard. <laughs> No sign of him here. Huh? What 
the fudge? all that power. This is not how people work. She rejects the power, not the responsibility. <laughs> A noble idea. But please join me in the real world. I trust you already know what this is. Why not simply take it? Embrace who you were always meant to be. No, never again. <sighs> well, I had to try. Go on then. Do your thing. At least I die knowing who I am. What are you doing? No! No! This is what it means to lose everything. Making a mistake. It's mine to make. Oh. <laughs> Forgive me. I seem to have. Uh... What were we talking about? Don't worry. We were done. Finance continues as Milton Fitzpatrick CEO Alexander Fannin joins the president of Hams and Oil. While the new founder Tim Quinn and a bunch of other members step down. It's been a long time, Agent 47. That's not who I am anymore. The pact is done. The past. Death. And yet, here you are.
I choose this path because I can. There will always be people like them. So there will always be people like us. No one is untouchable. It's good to be back.